it was last month when I was at Daytona Beach Bike Week and I had to be at a meet and greet at one o'clock. It rained the night before, we rode the night before in the rain and my bike was filthy dirty. Had stuff all over the motorcycle. And I didn't have time to go somewhere to wash it with soap and water to get it clean like I want it. But my cousin said, hey man, I got this spray. You can spray it on your bike and wipe it off. But I've used some of that in the past and I felt like it was just beyond, you know, beyond that. Those things work okay, but when you really want to get your bike clean, you need soap and water. I had no other choice, so I decided to use it. And I sprayed it on my motorcycle and wiped it off and I immediately knew that this stuff was different than any other thing I've ever used before. Cleaned the whole motorcycle in about five minutes and it looked really good. I asked my cousin David, said, where do you get this stuff from? He said, you get it at Walmart. We went straight to Walmart and I bought it. It only costs, at that Walmart, it only costs $9. Let me show you what it is. All right. I got It's chemical guys, and this is the bought this at Walmart, $9 or something like that. And I also bought the chemical guys extreme body wash and wax. I use that as well. But this is the quick detailer when it was really dirty, just spraying it on and wiping it off, it really worked well. And what I just picked up from AutoZone, I got that from Walmart, I got this from AutoZone, is the Diablo wheel cleaner from Chemical Guys to get those chrome wheels shined up good. I got caught out in the rain. There's a whole lot of bugs on the front. I'm going to wash it with the extreme body wash and wax and use this Diablo wheel cleaner for all wheel types. Never used it before, so I'll give this a try, see what, it, see what it's like. I got chrome wheels on the bike and the back wheel on a Harley Davidson wheel, you always, the back wheel's always a whole lot dirtier than the front wheel. The Chemical Guys Synthetic quick detailer is the king. You can dethrone this, I'll use your product. But for now, again, this is the king and this is not a sponsored video. So uh, we're gonna get the bike cleaned up and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. Afterwards, we're gonna go for a little ride. So this may be a lengthy video. All right, let's get to it. And if you think my bike looks a little different, it's because I got the tour pack on the back. I usually don't run it with the tour pack on the back, but my wife was riding with me. And you want to find out how you can purchase this tour pack for, I think it's under $300. You can go to my videos. I'm in the sun again. I said that in the last video. You can go through my videos on uh, Traveling Tall and check out the link for this tour pack. It's under $300 and it is a great tour pack. I don't like the bike with the tour pack, but I have a need for the tour pack. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on one. And that's why I bought it off Amazon. There's a link in the description. I'll put it in this video too, a link in the description below to that tour pack. So enough talking, let's get the bike washed. I'm gonna jack it up, get the pressure washer hooked up and uh, start washing the bike. Yeah, so you'll probably hear some music about now. <laughs> This little Ryobi pressure washer, and it's uh, small and 1900 PSI. Nice little pressure washer. I got this from Home Depot, made by Ryobi. Okay, so again, I told you we're gonna use this extreme body wash and wax by Chemical Guys. Now, I use other things too. Um, it was made by Armorall that I use that. But the day that I bought this, I like this so much that I thought, why not give this a try?
and it smells good. Probably don't supposed to smell it, but it smells good. There's two fittings that come with this. I think this is the right one. The little uh, yellow fitting. Put that in. Yep, that's it. You notice I jacked it up, and it's just easy to get your back wheel and front wheel by jacking up the whole motorcycle. And I'm not sure I'm going to do a full saddlebags off wash. I'm going to wash it. Oh yeah, by the way, I like to do something else. I like to cover up my breather as well. Because it's an open breather, I don't like getting this wet. So let me show you what I do with that. I'll just use the bag that I had from AutoZone. And put around here. Tie it and tuck it in there. Right there. Extra measure of safety. You don't, just, you know, you don't want to get that wet. Now I have speakers here in these lids that I just had installed. I've noticed a little bit of water in my saddlebag, so I don't want to uh, spray directly the speaker grill. So, and I definitely don't want to spray the navigation screen directly and all those things and electronics. I kind of just pull back and just missed over that. Start at the front of it here. Get all these bugs off. Windshield. And get the outside outer fairing here. Then I go to the headlight. ahead and wash the inside here which I probably should have did that first because it's a whole lot cleaner than the outside and mirrors everything okay so that is the whole front fairing and the little apron underneath so far in the bullet lights in the front now let's rinse them off I'm knocking over my stuff here Again, I don't want to be just like drowning that radio. Even though they say it's waterproof, I don't want to do that. And plus, you got 1900 PSI's. If you right here on that radio, surely you're going to get water in there. So I like to stand back from it. Just mist over it. Like that. Let's I don't know, let's just move on to the front fender. I'm kind of out of sorts because I'm making a video. It's not flowing like I want, so somebody's gonna ask me probably why am I doing the front forks before I do the rest of the bike. I don't know why I'm in the front forks before I'm doing the rest of the bike, but I'm doing the rest of the front fender, the front of it, the back of it. The forks on this side. And I know I'm not doing the wheels yet, I had that new chemical guys wheel stuff anyway. I want to see how that works. So, you know what? I'm going to do the lower too while I'm here. The whole lower fairing here. Listen, guys, don't pay a lot of money for these lower fairings. You can see the video where I installed them and I share a link where I got them from. These things are cheap in price, but good.
quality and I've used these things. I've been across country with them. I've had them for two years now and how cheap they were in price. If something happens to them, I'll just buy some more. It was kind of before I started doing the whole stereo stuff too. Um, at that point, you know, now that I kind of like the stereo stuff, I might even buy the ones that takes six and a half inch speakers. We'll see. All right, let's get this first off. But you also want to get this air, this uh, oil cooler down here too. That is a magnet for bugs. So you make sure you get that out. I could have waited until I did, but oh, I'll just go ahead and do it. Okay. Now let's get the uh, here, the underside of the tank dash. Uh, might as well get the seat too. Now the reason why I'm washing it now with the tour pack on the back is because I plan on taking a trip where I'll be using the tour pack. I want to make sure the tour pack's clean. At the end of the wash, I'll take the tour pack off the back and uh, make sure I wash everything nice and neat underneath. But I'm just going to leave the tour pack on now while I'm washing. A full wash, you would see the saddlebags come off, everything come off. Of course, this side cover here. Seat washed. All right, side cover. And again, I am not spraying the screen close up and directly, and I am not spraying my saddlebag speakers close up or the air cleaner. And after I get this washed, I can take it off. Yeah, this tour pack comes in handy when you're traveling, that's for sure. Good place to keep your stuff. I still use a roll bag too when I'm going long distance, but this tour pack was a good investment, especially for the price, you can't beat it. You can get the tour pack and the lowers on the links that I'll provide for you. Now, it didn't come with this light, which you probably can't see, but this is a custom dynamic light. I added that light afterwards. All right. Things clean. Rinse the tour back off. Off of here so I can wash the rest of this. Has a quick disconnect here, which is difficult to do when your hands are wet.
Yeah, you see that, but I forgot. I was just talking about this light back here. That's what I, I already took the thumb screw out of here. Get this seat off the back. Disconnect the tour pack. Lay it over here in the grass. Put my seat back on, I don't want to get anything wet under here. The top of the lid, front of the saddle bag, underneath the saddle bag, the back of the saddle bag, sides. These bags, I uh, got these off Amazon too. They're extended five inch. Guys, I'm always looking for a deal. You can check, you can check them all out. Everything is on Amazon. I will provide the links for you. Watch this rear fender. Now start washing this other bag. Underneath, back side of it. Okay, so that's completely clean. I got this rear fender washed off. Okay, let's spray them off. We gotta be mindful of the speakers again. You ready? that up and uh, it's time to do the motor. We'll do the wheels last, get a little bit more water in here. So let's get this motor cleaned up on top of the rocker box cover. Get the fins of the actual motor cleaned exhaust clean, brake pedal, footboards, push rods, heat shield. If you don't have a heat shield on your motorcycle, that thing right here, one, if you can see that, this thing right here will save your boot or your pipes from your boot burning on them. This cleaned up off the top of here. Push rods back here in the back. As far as you can reach is what you clean. Everything that you can reach, wash it. Exhaust, foot pegs. Underneath the back side of the exhaust. And then you go even underneath the saddlebag here. And then back here at the tip of the exhaust. Get that cleaned up. All right. Okay, on to the other side now. If it doesn't rain, looks like there's a rain cloud above our head. I like to keep the whole white wet too while I'm doing this.
and everything's clean except the wheels. Here on the uh, Diablo wheel cleaner for all wheel types, spray on, scrub them, rinse for a spot free shine. That's simple. <laughs> Dream. Okay. Don't want to go to the back yet. Let me get my scrub brush. That smells good. It actually smells like cherry Kool Aid, which is crazy to have a cleaner that smells that good. Or two, might as well. I mean, scrub all of this, paint it really good. Now, when you have the bike lifted up, like, show you what you can do when you have the bike on a lift, it makes it easier. Okay, now this is what I was going to say when you have the bike lifted up like this, this is what you do. Just that easy because the bike's up just barely down and you can I could spin the wheel because it's on the stand I think I need some more of that stuff. so far so good Spray it and see how well it comes off. So I, I do see that it left a little bit. I see a little bit of brake residue that it left behind there. You know what? I use this stuff. I don't know who makes it, but it looks like cotton and it comes in a little can that you can use to clean your chrome wheels. That's the best stuff. That'll get that off. So. I still will probably end up using to get that off. It did a good job. It did good. I'm not going to say great, but it did a good job. Now let's go to the back. That's the real, that's the real test anyway. I had to take it off the tripod just to show you the filth that's on that back wheel. You can see that it is so dirty under there. But we're going to get it clean. Let's, let's give this stuff a try. Okay, guys, I said I wasn't taking off the saddlebags, but let's just be honest. It's too easy not to. So let's just get these saddlebags off here and set them in the grass. So it makes it a lot easier to get to that rear wheel. First, I got to get this off here. Get my speakers unplugged. It's just way too easy to just to take off saddlebags. Well, I disconnect the speakers and then I disconnect the custom dynamic lights on the side. Unplug that there. Unplug this one here. Get this. Here we go. 
just like that it's off. Now I can get to that back wheel a lot easier. I don't know if I would buy this see how it works on the back wheel before I make my decision. That's actually doing really good. Crazy how dirty the back wheel gets. Folks clean. All right, so let's see what it looks like. Time to rinse it off. got the uh, seat off. I'm not getting water anywhere near this stuff. This is where all the electrical stuff is. You definitely don't want to get any water near that. I could put the seat back on. I'm going to put the seat back on. Just to cover it up while I do that. By the way, I'm trying to pretend like when I took the seat off, I didn't drop that axle nut again. So thankfully I got an extra one. I'm going to put this axle nut with a little C-clip back in it. Second time I've done that. That's a pain. Yeah, anyway, let's finish. Okay, so yeah, it did come clean. And it does look really shiny. I'm happy with this. And look, I didn't even, look how, I didn't use a lot, about that much of the bottles left. Yeah, happy with that. You know what, I'm gonna put this axle nut back in, and then we're gonna put the seat back on, the saddlebags back on, and then we'll go from there. Look at this. This little C-clip right there holds on this little fender nut right here that holds in the seat screw right there. About to take this weed eater string, run it down through here. Well, this is going to be a long video. Run it down through here. Got that there. Now I got to go under here. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put this fender nut on the weed eater string. Tie a little loop, a knot in the back of the weed eater string. Pull this up. and then go get my C-clip that I just had. Push it on there. I just gotta be mindful when I take it off again. 
All right, push that back through, get that out, and continue my wash job. Up the speaker. Now attach the saddlebags. Let's do the next one. Okay, let's get the other saddlebag put on. Make sure that we have everything plugged up correctly. Plug the speakers back up. All right, okay, so now I'll put the seat back on. There you go. So now you're probably saying you got the bike washed, but you didn't dry the motorcycle. There's water spots on it. True. So what do I do? Wash the whole thing over again. Especially back here where I've been handling bags and you know taking the seat off and all that type of stuff All right, then rinse the whole thing off. And yes, I know I don't have the air cleaner covered up this time. I stay from far back from it and definitely don't want to concentrate getting water anywhere close to it. Now that I got it cleaned off, it's time to dry it off. And uh, to make a long video longer, might as well show you what I have that I plan on drying it off with. Okay, let's get this plugged in. Surely there's some juice in this battery. And... Still got a little bit of water on top of these lids of these saddlebags and blow that off. Then let the bike down and then I'll ride it around 
the neighborhood come back and spray it off with a quick detailer. that idle a little bit I'm gonna start getting up my stuff again this is what I use the extreme body wash that's what I use there and this is the uh, wheel planer right here chemical guys so I just came back from my ride and of course after you ride the motorcycle you're gonna there's gonna be water that blows off in different places and but I'm gonna use this chemical guys, synthetic quick detailer. But this stuff, it works good. Works good for quick detail, quick shine. And uh, I'll throw this in the saddlebag on a long trip because you can't wash your bike like that every day, but on long trips you get bugs and everything all over the place. But now I'm just gonna get this wiped down, wipe down the whole bike and then um, take it for a ride. Just wipe that down there. ready for the road. Do all that just to ride on the road and get bugs all over it. But I start out looking nice. <laughs> I do a wash like this before I go on a road trip and I do a wash like this after I get back from a road trip. Most of the time just around town I do little quick washes. Kind of like the wash that you saw uh, when I said the bike was drying off. So I just did a quick wash. I think I said that in the beginning of this video that this was going to be a 10 minute wash, but that turned into be a 45 minute wash. Can you spray it on chrome? I know somebody's gonna ask that. I mean, what I have on the rag, I might wipe the pipes off, but I'm not gonna spray any directly on there and wipe them off. Look at that thing shine. It's looking good. So that is the full, <laughs> the video has changed. The beginning of the video is doing like a 15 minute wash. So that is the full getting ready for the road trip wash. I guess I'd call that my spring cleaning wash, which to go into full detail, I would have went into, inside the saddle bags, wiped them out, um, wiped off the fender underneath the seat there's a lot of things that I would have did. So that wasn't a full wash. It was pretty close. Not completely though. Now with all that, I'm going to take it for a ride and uh, get it somewhere and do a full 360 walk around and let you see what it looks like close up. Because you've been looking at this same angle the whole time. Let me put the dog up, hop on the bike, and go for a ride. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go for a ride. All right, guys. Well, I need to head back home. I was going to go somewhere on a ride, but it looks like it's about to rain. So uh, I'm going to pull over somewhere, maybe in a parking lot, and show you the bike before 
I've done all this and then it rains and it'll be all for nothing. All right. All right guys, so I got it all washed up and uh, yeah, it took a little bit longer than, than I thought, probably because I was fooling with this camera and trying to make sure everything goes well to make a video. It, it doesn't take that long to wash it the way that I usually wash it. That's how I wash it before road trips and after road trips. Most of the time I just do a little quick wash. But let me show you a full 360, what it looks like, the finished results. Right, guys that's it so hopefully you liked the video i know it was a long video it's my wash video um check out the, all the products and some of the other things i was talking about like the tour pack the uh lowers the stress saddle bag some of those things i'll link in the description below um but yeah check out all the chemical guys products and i don't know if you remember this but i issued a challenge in the beginning of the video that if you make a product that's better than what i'm using now send it in to the p.o box that's below on the uh in the description i am not sp sponsored by any in, in any type of way by chemical guys and, uh, but that is what i'm using now so if you want to dethrone the cleaner i'm using now send something in and i'll give it a try i'll test it and i'll put it on the channel all right guys want well, to thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and uh thumbs up comment let me know what cleaner you're using on your motorcycle and uh yeah put that in the comments below don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.